Hi guys. It is a glorious moonlit night. Have you seen that gorgeous moon on the rise outside here on this gorgeous <coughs> moonlit early fall night of 2023? That would be, it is a Wednesday night, September 27th, 2023, I believe. So, uh, guys, I, I, I am trying to figure out what it is about what I'm getting ready to do here that has gotten my, at least my Doomer adjacent friends so upset with me, acting like this is, that, that Hambone Little Tail has crossed a line. That apparently I am so fucking just gross. That I that I am so low class. That these Doomer adjacent friends of mine want nothing to do with me, and I and I really don't under. <laughs> I really don't understand what particularly my Doomer adjacent friend Lulu, I mean, she was fucking pissed, and my Doomer adjacent buddy, uh, David Simonson, uh, wasn't going to touch this one with a 10-foot pole, and I, you know, I'm, the, uh, I, I'm trying to think back over the years of the inappropriate videos I've done with my sick, twisted Doomer sense of humor, so uh, I don't know if you guys, well, you never saw the video, but I think the, <laughs> the, the closest I ever came to crossing the line is when Sancho Panza and I were living out in, uh, in New Mexico, I think it was 2017, and I was hanging out there with some uh, Doomer chick out there in uh, <clears throat> East Bumblefuck, New Mexico. And I was in the living room while she was <laughs> in the kitchen preparing dinner. And, and what the video was, is I was sitting on the living room couch of the house, and, and I had a butcher knife to Sancho Panza's neck, and I was holding the butcher knife to Sancho Panza's neck, and the name of the video <coughs> was going to be Send Me Money to My Patreon Account or I Kill the Dog. <laughs> I was sitting there like this with a butcher knife to Sancho's neck, and, and, and my friend comes in from the kitchen, and she goes, hey, Mom. She, she goes, I have never... Uh, I have never sat here and, and, and tried to derail you making an inappropriate video, but if you put a fucking video up with a, uh, with a, uh, <coughs> a butcher knife at Sancho Panza's jugular telling people to send you money to your uh, Patreon or GoFundMe or whatever, uh, it, it's, it's not going to be worth the fallout. You know, of course, what I was making a joke of was that National Lampoon story, the, the cover of National Lampoon with that dog with the pistol, where they, <laughs> where the, uh, headline was, buy this magazine or we shoot the dog. <laughs> And they had a gun pointed at this cute little dog's head. Good God, uh, National Lampoon ate some shit. So I think what I did with that video is I listened to Reason and I, uh, I toned it down to the first person who sends me $10,000. Uh, I, I was trying to auction Sancho Panza off with an opening bid of $10,000, but... That one is one of the very few times that I, you know, hit the edit button. And then one, uh, if you remember, 
when Leonard Cohen died. Well, when Leonard Cohen died was the day after Donald Trump was uh, elected president, and I did this video, which I think is still up there. I, I don't know. Uh, Leonard Cohen commits suicide after Donald Trump is elected president. You know, Leonard Cohen had a long history of depression, and I made this video that a depressed Leonard Cohen put a bullet through his fucking head when Donald Trump was elected president. I got a little bit of hate mail on that one. That, uh, th that, that got me some hate mail. So, you know, after those, so I, so anyway, what happened was we all know that uh, Jimmy Buffett, our old uh, parrot head friend, Jimmy Buffett, died a few weeks ago, the, the uh, obviously the author of that awful fucking song that really makes me want to puke, that god damn song Margaritaville, Margaritaville, if I had, you know, Margaritaville, <clears throat> I mean, it rates right up there with, uh, with, with goddamn Honey by Bobby Goldsboro, as one of these songs, these irritating fucking little songs, uh, that, that come on, and all of these clueless fucking morons start joining. I, I despise that fucking song. Not a big fan of Jimmy Buffett. I, I do like that song, A Pirate Looks at 40. It's, uh, I, I don't mind that song, A Pirate Looks at 40. I'm going to see if I can find A Pirate Looks at 40. And... Uh, and put that on here, but other than a pirate looks at 40, I, I could do without fucking Jimmy Buffett. Uh, you know, he was, I, I, I've heard he was a goddamn billionaire, and he was a regular guest at the Bohemia Club. I don't know if you guys know uh, who the fuck the Bohemia Club, Bohemia Club is where Alex Jones made his big mark when Alex Jones sneaked into the Bohemia Club, uh, it's what put Alex Jones on the map. I mean, some sick, twisted motherfuckers uh, out there in the redwoods of Cal. I mean, sick, twisted shit. Uh, th these goddamn uh, billionaires. I mean, the really evil motherfuckers. And uh, and Jimmy Buffett used to play was the the entertainment at the Bohemia Club. Uh, I never saw Jimmy Buffett. I wouldn't have paid a, a, a fucking dollar bill to see that motherfucker. He, he's, uh, he is one of the single most overrated uh, songwriters and singers uh, that I know. I mean, you know, he's okay. I, I mean, compared to some of this fucking shit, coming down the pike, uh, he, he, you know, he's fucking Beethoven, but I never cared for the fucking guy, and, and that goddamn song, <clears throat> Margaritaville, so anyway, <clears throat> at my birthday party Saturday night, a bunch of us doomers, uh, we went to uh, see the Old Crow Medicine Show at the State Theater in Ithaca, New York, Saturday night. An excellent show. Damn good show. The Old Crow Medicine Show. If you ever get a chance to see it, great show. The low point of the evening is when the Old Crow Medicine Show wanted to do, you know, a send-off to uh, to Jimmy Buffett, and with all the songs they could have chosen to sing, uh, obviously the one they chose was that god-awful, irritating little fucking whatever, probably took him five minutes to write, so uh, we're suffering through that, I, I think I got up to go take a piss, 
during it. But anyway, my Doomer adjacent buddy, David Simonson, who <coughs> you some, some of you may know my buddy, David Simonson. He was sitting next to me at the concert and we were talking about, you know, doing a parody of, uh, of Margaritaville. We were going to call it Doomerville. And so, uh, David went home and wrote his version, which maybe I've invited him to play it. So maybe we'll hear David Simons' version of, of Doomerville, his Doomer adjacent. So I sat down and wrote my version of Doomerville. Took me about 20 minutes. I, I wrote it on Sunday, sitting right here in this chair, right here in this chair on Sunday afternoon. I might have spent 30 minutes on it. So I wrote my version of Doomerville and uh, my friend from, my friend Lulu was visiting from Austin and she was absolutely fucking livid at me. I've, I've known this woman, good God, I've known Lulu for 17 years. She has never been as furious at me. And then I ran it by David Simonson he wants nothing to do with this. Find someone else to uh, sing your little song, Hambone. <coughs> You're fucking sick. You're a fucking <coughs> sick, twisted fuck. And I'm thinking, good God, what's the big problem? So uh, I wrote it uh, and put it on medium.com. I don't know how many of you are aware of the fact that I uh, that I write for Medium.com. It's it's under Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles, unfortunately. If you want to, so, but I put a lot of these Doomer parodies up there. I love writing Doomer parodies, and uh, so I so I just put it on Medium.com on Monday, no, Sunday night. I put it on. Medium.com, I notice I have 45, on a planet of 8 billion people, 45 people have, have looked at my Medium.com thing. Uh, I don't think one person has clapped for it. I do think Tennessee Jed left the comment, Hall, H-A-W, was I'm not sure what hall means. Uh, so the one comment, so anyway, uh, I just, uh, I guess I'll bring it here and you tell me, is this the sickest, most twisted thing? If this is the sickest, most twisted thing I've ever written, I, I have a pretty low bar. I mean, what's the big fucking deal? So just in case you do not realize this, and I did not realize this, it was uh, my Doomer adjacent friend Lulu who explained this to me. Do you know what Jimmy Buffett died of? Well, what he died of was a very aggressive skin cancer called a Merkel carcinoma. A Merkel carcinoma. It's a really nasty skin cancer. There, there are a whole lot better ways to die than dying of uh, Merkel carcinoma. So, uh, just a little bit of background information. So now that you know that uh, our friend Jimmy Buffett died of a Merkel carcinoma. And I don't know how horrible his death was. You know, I, I had my, my own mother died of a very aggressive form of cancer. It's not funny. There was no humor in dying of cancer. Uh, so anyway, this is Hambone Little Tales' latest uh, Doomer anthem, Doomerville. 
Now, I am not a singer, so I'm not going to really attempt to sing this, especially the chorus. But if anybody out there listening to this wants to cover this and do a video of it and send it in to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I will try to get it published. So if you want to take this, or if you want to cover this, please do so, and we will get you on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. <clears throat> Doomerville. Clutching my beach rake, watching the sun bake, all of those seabirds covered with oil, raking up tar balls on my black sea walls, smell of dead dolphins beginning to boil. Wasting away again down here in Doomerville. Doom scrolling all night because I can't halt. Some morons claim that Exxon Mobil's to blame, but I know it's nobody's fault. Don't know the reason. Stayed here ten seasons. Nothing to show but this carcinoma. It's a real Merkel, all scaly and purple. Feel like I'm fading into a coma. Wasting away again down here in Doomerville. Doom scrolling all night because I can't halt. Some morons claim that Exxon Mobil's to blame. Now I think hell, it could be my fault. I stepped on a landmine, blew off my behind, lost my leg, now I barely hang on. Fentanyl in the icebox, I never will detox from that magic concoction to take me back home. Wasting away again down here in Doomerville, scraping through soggy seeds in the vault. Some morons claim that Exxon Mobil's to blame, but I know it's our own damn fault. There you go. I think that was rather G-rated, but uh, <laughs> come get me. Uh, it, 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 you know, if if that innocent little song gets my Doomer adjacent friends panties in such a wide, uh, I I really have a challenge. It's a real Merkel, all scaly and purple. Feel like I'm fading into a coma. Anyway, I gotta wrap this this crass video up and uh, <laughs> and get back to uh, I don't know some cute cat videos while I still can. Bye, guys.